Whether it's crushing cans, building hovercrafts, or working through industry proposed projects. So the three components we took, you can see, are the hybrid truss system. Engineering students put all of their talents on display during Engineering Week at UBC Okanagan. First year, students competed in building a mechanical can crusher that was both effective and a little out of the ordinary. Commercial can crusher, the crushing can vertically, but I asked the students to try to look outside of the box and try to um, build a device that it actually, instead of crushing can, flatten it can. It would be easier to store them and also you can see the tag, I can see the label. There were so many variety of designs the students came and it, it shows the level of the competency of this project. I think ours is really uh, a very simple, elegant design that's reliable and uh, consistent. So it's less showy, less fancy, but it gets the job done and is really reliable. Three things that really make our hovercraft unique. Uh, the first is we made a three-ply outer ring. Second year students are tasked with building hovercrafts that utilize a number of applied engineering disciplines. Mechanical, civil and electrical. So in hovercraft projects students uh, facing all these three disciplines. So they build the hovercraft, the structural, they have uh, three or four fans, they have to do flow analysis, this is mechanical, and then they have the electrical components, they put it together in order to make this hovercraft work. Fourth year engineering requires groups of students to work on a project that challenges them to provide real solutions to potential future employers. We contact industries and we invite them to propose perhaps projects, problems they're facing and the students gather groups, uh, we have cross-discipline groups, uh, they have mechanical, civil and electrical and since last year actually we add also another interesting component of advertising, financing, accounting, cost analysis and we ask uh, high upper year management students to be part of these projects as well. Bear in mind that several of these projects, so students, they will get a job perhaps, and this is one of the main objectives. And I see that they're using this project, this uh, capstone as a jumping board to land in a job. It's very, very exciting for me. If you're up in the mountain, it's going to take you several days to get resources there to plug a big leak or whatnot. The world has evolved since several decades ago, as well as our engineering students and even the science in, in, in the bigger picture. So it used to be uh, students come in a class and the professor comes and teach and write on the board and they make a note and that the way that used to be maybe about 50 years ago. But now again as our education system evolved, it's very important uh, for our students to learn how to interact and communicate with each other. I believe uh, problem solving skills is one of the most important uh, skills that our students learn and that would help them to nail a job.